So you found out you have low progesterone and the only option is to take progesterone with your cycle, right? Wrong. There's actually so much we can do to support our body to help it to make its own progesterone naturally. If you're new here, I'm Rita Johnson, owner of Divine Mercy Nutritional Care, and I help women take charge of their health and fertility using diet, lifestyle, and mindset changes. So let's talk about progesterone. First of all, it's important to know that progesterone is necessary to have a healthy, normal menstrual cycle. And if your cycle is not healthy and normal, that is a sign of some other issues that are going on in your body. It's not just simply that there's something wrong with your cycle, it's that there's something off in your body. And we need to dive deeper into what that is or what those things are. So oftentimes when we go to the doctor and we're told that there's something wrong with our hormones, whether we have too much estrogen, not enough progesterone, or we have an imbalance of those two, we are often given something like bioidentical progesterone in our cycle. This is especially common if you have a physician that's trained in NAPRO technology. It's really helpful to take that progesterone to start to feel better right away. But I also always encourage women that we need to remember that we have to take our health back into our own hands and do what we can do to help support our body to make its own natural progesterone. So what some of those things might look like to really help your body to get back in that state of being able to make adequate levels of your own sex hormones are things like managing our stress levels, being sure we're eating a nutrient-dense whole foods diet. Sex hormones are made from the cholesterol that you consume. So if you're not eating enough good, healthy fats, if you're not getting those things from your diet, your body doesn't have all the materials it needs to be able to make those sex hormones. Also, we need to look at things like your blood sugar regulation. If your blood sugar levels are chronically dysregulated, if for instance you have something called insulin resistance, or if you have some other issues going on, perhaps some hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia, that can also contribute to poor production of sex hormones. As we look at what's going on in the other systems of the body and really diving deep into the root causes of the body's dysfunction, we actually see that there's a whole host of issues that can be wrong, which can prevent our body from making enough of its own sex hormones. I spent a lot of years in the time that I've helped women with reproductive health issues dive deeper into their root causes of what's going on in their body, asking the same questions. What can we do to support progesterone in the body naturally? And again and again, I was told that there's nothing we can do. But as I've gone deeper into functional medicine and became trained as a nutritional therapy practitioner, I can now tell you with confidence that we can make a lot of lifestyle, dietary, and mindset changes that can impact your sex hormones. Think of it this way. If your body does not perceive safety, it's not going to do the monumental, incredible task of growing another human being. And in order to do that, we have to have adequate levels of estrogen and progesterone. And those sex hormones have to be in a beautiful balance of a symphony with one another. So if that's off, I encourage you to dive deep into other issues of your health, like your gut health, your blood sugar balance. Really dive into what we can do, how we can support your body through diet and lifestyle changes to get your body to make enough progesterone on its own. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check out the rest of the content I have. I also have a free ebook. It's called Fertility Journey, and it includes five questions that you're going to want to ask your doctor the next time you're at your doctor's appointment. (laughs) 